All right, hello and welcome back. In the last episode, in case you missed it, uh, we went back to the first area where we uncovered all of the clues and received a cool little move, which I will show uh, in this episode. We also do have a new area unlocked, which we're just gonna jump into. Let's get into it. And I also do have to fix the effects because you obviously can't hear the background music. I've turned that back on. An anatomy for disaster. There we were, heading east across the Atlantic Ocean, stowaways on a giant airborne fortress. Though time was short, we made sure to study up on our unknowing host, Arpeggio. While attending a prestigious boarding school, the young Arpeggio excelled in all subjects, but he never managed to keep up with the other boys physically. Sadly, his wings, due to their small size, were useless for flight. Furious at his feeble body, he focused his powerful mind to search for a cure in the works of the Italian Renaissance masters. Leonardo da Vinci? Their notebooks provided the springboard for this sinister young genius. And it wasn't long before the claw gang took him on as chief inventor. His talents must have been at work repurposing all the clockwork parts for their criminal schemes. And now this mastermind is in possession of all the parts. It's only a matter of time before he puts them back together and when that happens, well, I'm not going to let that happen. He's very confident of you, Sly. I don't know if we can stop him in time. This dude was able to steal all the parts from us, so... He might actually be this. But we will try our damnedest to stop that. Alright, before we go any further, let me just see if I can... There we go. Put this back up. This is where it was before, I believe. Effects volume, all the way up. I actually want to line these up just a little bit. I'm doing this on the last area of the game. I know, hilarious. All right. Do I have any loot to sell? I sincerely doubt it. Oh, and I would be mostly right because there's not really that much. Let's see, temporal lock. Freeze time, okay. Freeze a time around the guards. That's insanely good. Diablo Fire Slam. Use while carrying an enemy to create a deadly firestorm. What in the Elden Ring is this? Uh, scatter enemies. I saw that from last time. Guttural Roar. Terrify your foes. <laughs> they want to be an RPG so goddamn bad. Barrel Pounce. Jump over vast distances. Okay. This is getting purchased immediately. One, sliced best. Two, finish, okay, yeah. And two, I have zero impulse control, as anyone who's ever seen any of my videos knows. Oh, so it takes place on an actual airship. So it's not even, well, I mean, it is an area, obviously, but. Dude, you have no gillies? What? What is that? Is that a freaking drone? That's a drone. Oh. Run, Sly! Use all of your powers. You can't see me. You fools, you fell right into my trap. Anything good on you? I don't see any shinies. All right. Oh, I assumed I could climb that. I guess I was wrong. Wait, where is... Okay, that's all the Mavic. Feral Pond. Oh, okay, so it has to be actually... Okay. Deep Reflex. Slow time to a crawl. Press and hold. Okay, yeah, this is the one I got last time. I did say I wanted to show you guys this one. So from the old school to the new school. 
still the old school. These games are only released two years apart, so I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, which one do I want to move? I mean, Solo Time to a Crawl is not really something I'm gonna think I'm gonna use. Okay, so you just press L2. Huh? I must say, uh, for 1,900 bucks, a wee bit freaking underwhelming. It's kind of like a double jump, I think. Eh. I heard a freaking bobble over there. I'm half tempted to go back because uh, finding them is uh, quite difficult. Let's see, how am I gonna go up there? I am so lost. I have not played in the last couple of days. Do, 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 do. And this place is kind of a freaking maze. And I hear the bottles everywhere. Uh, grab? There we go. Is there another platform I can climb onto? Nope. Weird. What is the purpose of this platform if there's nothing else to grab onto? Aha! It took all of my brain power, but I got there in the end. Doo -doo -doo. There we go. My instruments have picked up large magnetic fields radiating from inside that blimp. If arpeggios already started reassembling clockwork, that's where you'll find it. Sounds good. I'm on my way. Don't waste any time here, Sly. Get to the blimp and take some recon photos. To build the plan, we need to know how close they are to reviving clockwork. Relax, Bentley. I've got it under control. Uh, you might have it under control. I have no concept of what's going on. And I'm terrified. Clockwork beat me quite savagely in the first one. If you guys haven't seen it, go check it out. It was a pretty savage beating, I must say. Come on, is this even the right way to get about that? I'm assuming this is like a parachute. Yeah, all right, cool. I meant like a bungee, but. Climb, my beautiful raccoon, climb in my name. Beep. Yeah, but Calm he's down, dead, Eddie. dude. He might be in one piece, but he doesn't appear to be, you know, alive. Let's stick to the format here. How about some recon photos? You're right. We need to be informed to create a plan of action. Try to get a shot of Clockwork's head, a mech egg, and one of those spinning magnetic inducers. They seem important to the procedure, but stay away from the guards. If you get detected, we won't have time for a second chance. Okay. Pretty sure I can't hit anything from this angle, can I? Oh, yeah. Wait, what? Oh, wait, there's one directly in front of me. What am I doing? Uh, come on, controls. Damn, inverted controls. This is embarrassing. Got it. That is the worst picture I've ever taken in my life. Alright, so I need to finesse. Let's see. I have to get a picture of his head, so I have to go around. And I also need a picture of one of these boxes. Where? The Wait. He said eggs. I guess those are eggs? Don't, never seen eggs like that before. Is there 
genuinely terrifying. Can I get you from here? No, of course not. I'm just saying, I can take these guys down. No, I feel it. Get in there. No, get in there. Get freaking in there. Thank you, game. Where to climb? Okay. I mean, there's only one place to climb, so. Ahua. Crystal clear picture right there. HG 1040p. We still might have a chance. And can I get this one? No, I can't. That is where I'm supposed to. Wait. The other picture is behind? You gotta be kidding me. This might be a wee bit difficult. <laughs> I landed directly on it. Nice. Where are these eggs? It's weird. I can't climb any further up. I don't see any other platforms. Pretty sure I'm going the wrong way, though. Yeah. Okay. Nice. I'm missing a place. Ah, damn. Climb, 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 climb. Maybe they won't see me. Yep, they didn't see me. Cool. Too far. Use right analog stick to zoom out. Yeah, I got it. Oh, I think that's a bungee right there. Hmm. Okay. Trampoline. I keep saying bungee for some reason. I don't know why. Hey, bird, you mind moving out of the way? Seriously. I think this is glitched. I wonder if this will work. Yeah, I figured that was gonna happen. What was that? Trampoline? I knew it. I need keys to open up. Okay. Can is this the right angle? Not even remotely close. Nice. All right. That's what I like to see. How to keep climbing? Wait. I think I just noticed. Am I taking one of these platforms up? Okay, so I have to redo it all over again. That's fine. Put 
pulls her out there. These magnetic inducers seem to be holding the clockwork parts together. I concur. Of course, there's a different path I could take. Wait, so where... Where is the last place, then? What the hell? I see the head here. I am missing something so completely obvious that it's gonna rack my brain later. Poor angle. Wait, what? Wow, the game that is a interesting bug clockwork appears completely inanimate we still might have a chance well duh and then this area which I don't know what it is I'm gonna try climbing up again. Only lead I have is... Is it underneath? I feel like it's gonna be underneath, isn't it? And this was probably not the smartest way to go about this. Is it directly underneath? If it is, I'll be very annoyed. No. Where the hell... Freaking cyborg clown ducks, whatever the hell they are. Yeah, it's not even showing me. Do I have to take the platform? I mean, seems a bit silly if that's the case. See it from here. And this says it's too far away. Is there anything back here? Nope. Is it? Hmm. Yeah, I have no idea. Eggs. Where are the eggs? I was literally on top of the damn thing and I didn't see no eggs. On top. Nothing there. I can follow directly on that. Nope. I mean, there is a platform. Hmm. 
Hmm. Alright, after doing this mission so many times, I finally figured out where these goddamn eggs were. Right there. Hidden. In plain view. I'm sensing radioactivity. I'm disgusted with myself. <laughs> I wouldn't get too close. Bro, I want to get out of here so badly. I spent much more time than uh, I anticipated on this mission. I was hoping to bang out some stuff with Bentley, maybe something with Murphy. Nope. Just gonna keep it focused right there. These magnetic inducers seem to be holding the clockwork parts together. Are you sure? How did you determine that from a picture? I can handle this little parrot right now. Let's go. Nila? Nyla? Nila's here too. You sure it's not Nyla? I'm like 100% positive it's Nyla. Do do do. Can I break this? No, I guess that wouldn't be very sly. Uh, 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 uh. Arpeggio. These guys are oblivious to the fact that I'm standing directly in front of them. I can't believe it! She must have been working with Arpeggio all along! You really couldn't figure that out? I'm pretty sure it's still Nyla. I don't need to study those photos to see the writing on the wall. Clearly, Nyla and Arpeggio Nyla. have conspired together to rebuild clockwork. And it looks like they're dangerously close to realizing their goal. Look, Bentley. I know it's not your style, but I need a quick plan of attack. Try to think of a way, any way, to stop clockwork from getting reassembled. Well, those magnetic inducers seem to be holding the parts together. If you reverse their polarity, it should pull clockwork apart. Unfortunately, the inducer speed control station is locked down tight. Pickpocket keys for the four patrolling guards to get at it. Then you'll need to manually reverse the polarity of each inducer deck at the top of their rotation. Consider it done. Uh, excuse me? We died three times trying to grab onto those things. So, uh, let's maybe not consider it done. The, the arrogance and confidence of this man always stuns me. I got one key. That's not good. Oh, that actually might have saved me. No, why did I jump off? That was... Game, please. Have mercy on me. Get up there. We're hiding. In plain sight. But ducks, parrots, or whatever the hell these... Anamorphic creatures are. Can't see me. Damn. Go over here. Yay, I got two keys. Can I kill you? I can kind of. I am the raccooniest raccoon that has ever raccooned in the history of raccooning. Get over here. Oh, damn. He's gonna see me. Oh, he didn't see me. Shockingly. I got another key. I'm half tempted to end this dude's existence, but I'm also terrified that that guy's gonna turn around and murder me. 
pretty sure I can only take like one more shot. Got the keys. Now get to the speed control station to slow down the Ooh, and yeah, I got some help too. Alright. I mean, you know, let's not leave a job unfinished. There we go. Honestly, I prefer the little animation they used to do. Now that the inducer decks are spinning slower, get up there and reverse the polarity of each deck. Slightly terrified by that one. So, okay, yeah, got it. You know, with all the explosives that Bentley has, we could just take down this blimp. What? I, I don't want to talk about it. Alright, so... That's... unfortunate. There's four of them. I got that part. I only have a couple of seconds between each one before it tilts over. Can't believe that actually worked. I really hope if I die that the game doesn't make me restart this. What in tarnations? <clears throat> so this is the one that I already did, so I can ignore it. I'm assuming based on the red freaking, you know, emanating glow, I guess you could say. Green sim right there. That's two and then two behind. Actually, yeah, I can. Can I beat it? It's a race against the clock. Race against time. Good thing the thing is so goddamn slow. Look at those 20 FPS graphics. Amazing. have been reversed. But by Jove, it seems to have locked the clockwork parts into place. Excellent. What? Sly Cooper. What's up, darling? Of course this would be your doing. Ah, <clears throat> Mr. Cooper. No doubt you believed a reversal would pull the old bird apart, eh? <laughs> but it seems to have had quite the opposite effect. I'm truly grateful. When okay. fully powered up, I I'll love helping people, so you're welcome. Circuit and be born anew. All this because you can't fly. You're pathetic. Immortality. Immortality is what I seek. The other Claw Gang members were much too short-sighted. They were satisfied using the clockwork parts to drive their various trivial schemes. But not me. No. I saw them for what they really were. The keys to life eternal. So, what? You had Neela put me on the scent back in Cairo, and then waited while I stole the parts from the other Claw Gang members. All the while not arousing any suspicion that you were behind it all? Correct. You make it sound easy, Cooper. <clears throat> I had to carry your pathetic gang through that first set of heists. I was overjoyed when Arpeggio let me toss you in jail. I could finally go after the parts myself. 
Ah, but acquiring all the parts was only half the equation. Think, Cooper. What kept Clockwork alive for thousands of years? Hatred? He was fueled by his hatred for my family. Actually, they're right. Nice. Splendid. That's right. Hatred. Putting his gears and wires together was child's play compared with accumulating that much hatred. You can't make people hate. Oh, my poor naive boy. My meticulous mind has found a way. As your hippopotamus friend will attest, spice consumption makes you both angry and susceptible to hypnosis. The Contessa, hypnotist extraordinaire, devised a way to command people through the use of flashing lights. I've created this blimp to be a massive transmitter of those precise light frequencies. The only problem I faced was finding a suitable source of light waves. The Northern Lights. You've been collecting Northern Light energy so you could hypnotize everyone beneath the blimp. Ah, hypnotize those who'd eaten food covered in illegal spice. Thank goodness for Dimitri. Through his nightclub, he got the whole city to consume the spice. You're going to Paris to unleash a hypnotic light show of hate. That's outlandishly cruel. Cruel, perhaps, but necessary to give Clockwork his spark of immortality. Ah well, my new body awaits me. Be a dear, Nila, and keep him covered. Nyla. Ta -ta. Stupid arpeggio. I double-crossed the Cooper gang, Interpol, and Carmelita. What made you think I wouldn't do the same to you? This is preposterous. You're my protege, not the next candidate for my immortality. I demand you exit the clockwork frame or... or... Oh my god. I got a bit violent. Can we sell that piece? Behold, Dracula is born. Not very original. What is her motivation? I'm genuinely curious. As we all know, things are looking grim. Neela has joined herself to the clockwork frame and the union has produced Clock Lock. She's out and free to terrorize the world. This blimp is still in motion to Paris. I can only assume Arpeggio's autopilot will activate the hate hypnosis light show. If that happens, there will be no stopping Clock Lock. She'll be immortal. But we still have a chance. In her new form, she'll need to draw a lot of energy from this blimp's engines to stay strong. If we can disable the engines, that should be enough to weaken her to a state in which we can attack. Getting at these engines will require all three of us to work together in perfect harmony. We always have. We've pulled off some tough jobs in the past, but they were just the warm-up round for what we'll be going through tonight. Well, now that Clockla has been unleashed, uh, this is a perfect place to obviously end the episode. As always, if you do like the episode, make sure you hit like and subscribe. Great way to support the channel. Great way to help it grow. And I will check you out next time.